The container vessel MV Evergiven, owned by the company Evergreen, is now free and the Suez Canal it has now reopened. This is a follow-up video on how they got the MV Evergiven free again. There are some updates in the media and I'll try to explain what happened. For example, we have learned that the MV Evergiven was sitting on sand, rock and clay. What does that mean? If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You may have seen the videos of the mesh hour dredge removing soil underneath the MV Ever Given. A dredge is basically a vacuum cleaner. So let's see what happens when we dredge sand. Sand is the perfect soil to dredge. So let's see what happens when we dredge clay. Clay soil is nearly impossible to dredge. That is why the mesh hour is also equipped with a cutter. That is basically shovels that moves the soil into the dredge. Let's see then what happens when we try and dredge a rock. Nothing happens. Therefore, I doubt that there have been many rocks underneath the vessel. But this may not be the biggest problem. I have found the details on the mesh hour on the dredgepoint.org. To me, the challenge with the mesh hour was the reach. The dredge has a maximum reach of 35 meters and when studying the blueprint, it's likely that it could not have dredged underneath the MV Evergreen. The best outcome is probably that they have dredged soil away on the sides of the MV Evergiven, but likely not underneath. The next thing I want to explain in some more details is the pulling of the vessel. You may think that they should just pull hard enough and they would get the vessel to move, but there's a problem. A vessel has bollards where you can apply load. These may have limitations in capacity. This capacity may be limited to a few hundred tons. In a Dutch newspaper, you can read that they think the maximum load applied could be 400 tons before reaching the capacity of the bollards. So the main thing that actually got the vessel free was likely the high tides. The tide in the Suez Canal is close to two meters height difference. And this high tide likely was enough to lift the vessel free from the ground and then pull it away. Of course, dredging along the sides and pulling at the same time has played a major role in getting the vessel free. So good work to Boscalis. If you liked the video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.